Yep, that's me. You're probably wondering how I ended up in this situation. YouTube channel today we'll be installing a frontal wig together so install this wig with me first of all things I'll be needing for my installation I'll be needing my straightener my got to be glue spray my hand dryer okay my hand dryer oh sorry my hand dryer my hot comb my things are falling off my scissors my my wig cap my elastic band my styling moves my wax stick, my tail comb, my brush, and my detangling brush. Then the serum, if needed. Then paint to hold it down. So first thing first, and yes, this is the wig we'll be installing today. I told you that we're going to install this wig together. You thought I forgot? Okay. So that will be all. I'll take off my bonnet, my hair bonnet first. I know my hair is short off, I know so this is my hair. I'll keep this here. Uh, first thing we'll be doing is our wig cap. Put on we we'll put on our wig cap together. So I wouldn't be saying anything again, I'll just do a voiceover. Okay. The next thing I did was to put on my wig, apply my got to be glue spray. I blow dried the spray. The spray has to be dried, then I laid my hair down. After laying my head down, I combed, combed it all back. Then I went in with my elastic band. Yes, this elastic band helps to give it this melt. And after that, what I did next was to cut off the excess leaves. The next thing I did was to blow dry my hair. After that, I went in with my take comb. I had to loosen my elastic band in order to define the parts well. So I went in with my take comb. For this installation, I wanted the side parts. I just wanted something simple. So after that, I went in with my wastic, and wastic is used to prevent flyways. So I went in with my hot comb in order to perfect what I've started with the wastic, and that is it. So after making use of my hot comb, the next thing I did was to bob the tip of the wig. Yes, I had to bob the tip of the wig in order to make this install look as flawless as possible. And this is what I was doing. I just had to bob, 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 bob. And the next thing I did after bobbing was to tint, not tint, or to color, making use of my foundation and powder. I just had to color the, my lace in order to give it this realistic look. And I went in with my hot comb again. Hot comb, hot comb, hot comb. And I think it came out nice without serum and without moss. I think it came out nice. So this is the finished look, although I made a lot of mistake on this install. I forgot to bleach my lace or color my lace with my foundation before even starting it. And this is the first time I'm actually going to cut my lace off camera, normally on camera rather. Normally I do cut it off, then just this process was one hard one, but thank God I didn't get to ruin anything. My lace is intact, the coloring is not that perfect, but I think it's manageable and I just needed something simple without baby hairs I just needed something simple and i think this is this is giving i don't know is it giving to you guys this is a full frontal wig is it giving to you guys do you like this style would you try this in store so that'll be the end of today's video and thank you do have a nice day please subscribe to my youtube channel like comment and share if you found this video helpful 